If I'm not entertaining Lawson, I'm entertaining one of the dogs or the cat. It's always something. Somebody always needs mom, always. and welcome back to my channel. For this video, we're gonna be talking about baby favorites, baby must-have products, products that have been a lifesaver for us, things that we are going to buy over and over for the next future kids that we have, things that I recommend to other moms, things that honestly have just made being a mom and having a baby easier, better. I have so much to talk about that I probably am gonna have to break this up into different parts. So for the first video, I'm gonna talk about a lot of like essentials. I think I have another video where I could talk about my favorite clothing. I am thinking about also doing a nighttime routine with him. So if you're interested in any of those videos, just let me know in the comments below and I would be happy to make those for you. Right now, I'm just gonna kind of talk about all of our favorite items, whatever I, you know, have in front of me, things that I've had written down, and I know I'm gonna forget something because there's just so much that we have in our house that I'm just gonna have to do a part two to this video for sure. I will start off with one product that I thought we were gonna love that we no longer use, and I'm not gonna be able to use it until he's just a little bit older, but it's this Munchkin sippy cup, and it has a top on it, so if you put this in your diaper bag, it will not spill or leak anywhere. So you take off this rubber top right here, and then there are a bunch of little holes, and you have to hold it, tip your head back to get some, and then drink it. Well, Lawson doesn't really quite get that yet, so when he tips it, he tips way too much, and then chokes. And there was one moment where he was sitting in the bouncer, and I was right there with him, because I never give him anything food or water or bottle-wise unattended, obviously, but he tipped it back and got way too much, and like pretty much drowned in the water. That's how much he got. And for like a while, he was sitting there like not doing anything, I guess because he couldn't breathe. And I freaked out. So I was like, no more, no more, I'm taking it away. You can't do it. I feel like maybe in a month or so, he'll be ready for it. But for right now, I think that we're gonna skip on that. So I went back to Target looking for another one after I got Facebook recommendations. And a lot of moms recommended the kind that has the straw on it. So you have a lid right here. It's hard to do this one-handed. To close it so it doesn't leak. What we have to work on with him is pulling it away. He doesn't, I don't think he knows. Are you okay? I don't think he knows how much he can take before he needs to stop sucking it through the straw. I don't know, I think he's confused on that part. I don't know. So, I mean, he's only six months. I know that you're really not even supposed to be introducing water until like eight, nine months. So I don't know why I'm jumping the gun. I guess because like every time I bring a cup up to my mouth with water and I'm drinking it, he is, he's literally trying to get out of my arms with two hands and pull the cup to him. So I was like, okay, so I gave him my cup of water. I just, you know, slowly, like I was watching it on the side, slowly tipping it so he could get a little bit of water and he loves it. He loves water. So I was like, but this was like a month later. I was like, okay, maybe it's time to try a sippy cup or something. And then he just likes to munch on the straw. I guess it helps with his teeth. So the next thing, since we're on the Target and food subject, I will show you the foods that I buy for him. I buy only plum organics and I like the pouches because he holds the pouches himself either when he's sitting on our lap, sitting in a chair, in his high chair, whatever, and he can squeeze it out himself. So I'm gonna let him chew on that because if I take it away, he'll cry. But I get stage two. I just recently, like two days ago, bought stage three and tried that for him because it is thicker. Uh, the higher the stage, the thicker it is and the more food options that you have. I also use the Earth's Best Organic. I only buy this one as well because we use the, this is the formula brand that we use. So I read the ingredients on the back and thought it was a good choice, but they have a lot of different options. This one is banana and pumpkin. This is a stage two. So I buy a stage two and stage threes and he really likes these. These are so easy to grab on the go, throw them in the bag. They are expensive, so I buy like 15 to 20 of them at a time, and we spend $30 on, on those, you know, around that. So we do spend quite a bit, but I buy them a lot at a time, and I get them from Target. And <laughs> this is a stage three. He's very excited. And this is apple and carrot. So he has liked everything, every food combination that he has tried so far. So we're lucky, no allergies and, and he hasn't, there's nothing that he hasn't liked. We did have one that was guava, 
pumpkin and something else and the face that he made with that I guess because it was more bitter and he was like making a really funny face it was hilarious so that's that with food and sippy cup wise. So now I'm gonna talk about the bottles that we use. I have been through it with bottles. I use the Dr. Dr. Brown's ones and the Comatomo ones, but those are like a long story as to why. I just didn't like them, I didn't use it. These are the Boone bottles. So it's got a suction, like a rubbery inside. So this is tough right here, plastic, and then the middle is like rubbery and squishy. I like these bottles because they don't have too many parts to it at all. It is the insole, like the rubbery insole, the nipple, and then the plastic part. As he's drinking, this is getting tighter and tighter and all the air is coming out of it, and so that prevents colic or burping or any uncomfortable feeling. So all the air comes out of it and it's just the liquid left in there. I got them off of Amazon, they came in a pack of three. He has this one that he's working on right now. So there's like a light gray, a dark gray, and a white. And then they also have the covers, which I guess are all in the sink. But there's a dome cover that goes on top of it. So you can throw it in the diaper bag and it doesn't leak. You don't have to worry about it. I got this off of Amazon as well. Life saver. I started using this at three and a half months. He, he kept putting all of his fingers in his mouth and he has biting down like that. And I thought that he was teething. His first tooth has just come through like two weeks ago, so he already has a tooth now, and it's a lower one, but at three and a half months, he was getting a little bit cranky and just really munching on his fingers, so I was like, okay, well, let's try frozen banana. So these I got from Amazon. I wanted the silicone part because it was gonna resemble a pacifier, and they have really, really, really tiny holes not big holes at all. I put a piece of banana in here and I put it in the freezer and then when I got it out of the freezer, I ran it under hot water just to get that extra freezer coat off of it and then we held him in our lap while he held it like this. I mean, he held it himself the whole time and he munched on it and it, I guess, felt really good on his gums. It was really cold and he liked the taste of banana. So he did totally fine with it. I also did put his butternut squash or sweet potato puree. I put it in here. So I would take this part out, which they come with three different sizes as well. So this is a bigger one. It's kind of stained a little bit yellow because I put banana or um, I put sweet potato in here so many times it kind of has that tint color to it, if you can tell. But this is a bigger one. So I would put two or three little spoonfuls of the baby food in here and put it in a little Tupperware and then put it in the freezer and it would freeze. And so then I would take it, I would put it in here and then he would eat it and he loved it. And so... He was introduced to foods and he was also getting that cold feeling on his gums, which he loved. So I highly recommend this. It will be linked below. Filming with a baby. This isn't easy. <laughs> He's into everything. My goodness, boy. I also do, ha I do buy the Plum Organics, the little bowls of these. Same price, no different, but it's nice to have these on hand too just for, I don't know. I, I pick these up and I pick up the pouches. The pouches are easier because he likes to hold them himself. This is another thing I got at Target. I think is honestly a must have. It's by Munchkin as well. It'll be linked below for you. It is a formula container. So I put all of his scoops of formula in here. So four scoops here, four here, four here. And then the, the top goes on it. This is like sturdy. It's not gonna break open. It's not gonna spill or anything. And then you lift this up and you turn it and then you just dump it into the bottle. So I carry around a bottle that has the water in it already. And then I use this when we're on the go. That way I'm not carrying around a huge heavy thing of formula. I have this. So these are awesome if, you, if your baby is formula fed. I will insert a clip of the essential oils diffuser I have in his room. I really like having an essential oils diffuser in every single room. I have one behind me now. I get this from my health nut store that's local to us. This fights off colds. It is relief for your upper and lower respiratory tract. It opens your breathing passages and it purifies the air. This stuff smells really, really good. It's very affordable. I have gone through it really quickly because I use it every day. Being diffused right now throughout our living room and, and it goes into our kitchen and our bathroom a little bit. I also have this in our room upstairs and then I have it going in his bedroom as well. So when he's in there playing or taking a nap or we're in there changing his diaper, he is breathing this in. You can also diffuse lavender. It's very calming. It's gonna help the baby sleep better. Just have to make sure that there are no small things around him because he's making me worried. Okay, so this is, and I don't know how to say it, it's the Young Living Essential Oils Copaiba. C-O-P-A-I-B-A, -A, Vitality. So I was reading natural remedies for teething babies. I don't wanna use Tylenol or ibuprofen for children. I, 
I will use it if necessary, but I want to avoid it as much as I can. I am all about all natural organic remedies. So this is the Young Living Essential Oils. It smells really good. It smells like candy. The first time that we got it, well, it's it's like candy. It's like it has a sweet smell to it, but it also has like a smoky smell to it, like a cedar wood type of smell. My husband opened it up in the car when I wasn't in there, and then I got in the car and I was like, what candy are you eating? He goes, what? It's the essential oils. I was like, oh, it smells really good. And it doesn't taste bad either. So what I do is rub my finger right here on the tip of this, and then I rub it right here on the bottom of Lawson's gums. That's where his, you know, he's got teeth poking through, it hurts. So I do this multiple times a day, three or four times a day, especially at night. And I also, whatever residue is left on my finger, I rub underneath here on his jawline under his chin. I mean, essential oils, it takes 20 minutes for it to completely absorb into your, into your system, but really it takes two minutes, but 20 minutes is when it starts to work is what I mean. Two minutes it's absorbed, 20 minutes it is working. So I do that and his fussiness has gone from a 10 to a one maybe even a zero not even kidding this is for teething babies get you some doTERRA has it as well but also this is from Young Living so get the kind that can be digested it can be in you know internalized pay attention to what essential oil you buy you do not want to buy an essential oil that cannot be digested or put into your mouth next up his pacifiers I talk about this all over my Instagram stories so if you are not following me on Instagram this is new to you but if you are following me on Instagram you already know that these are my favorite pacifiers in the entire world he has different sizes one of them that he's using now they have all kinds of different colors so if you have a baby girl they've got really really cute colors I have been using these since he was just a couple weeks old I buy two new ones every few every one and a half to two months I buy a new one just because I want to make sure that it's staying sanit sanitary and you know he uses these every day but this is the hunter green color that's my favorite color in the world that's why I got this and this is like a taupe beige color but I get these off of Amazon. I'll have them linked below for you. This is the six to 18 months pack. It's a two pack. I don't necessarily know how long I'm going to allow him to have his pacifier, but since day one, he has always wanted to suck on something. It's comforting to him. It helps him sleep better. And so whatever you can do to get your baby to sleep so you can get some sleep, I'm all about. So these are designed and made in Denmark. I think that's really cool. I don't know. I really, really like these. I like the aesthetic look to them. He's drumming on the bowl down here, so sorry about that noise. I don't like those typical pacifiers that have all the colors and the dinosaurs and the race cars. I just don't like it, and that probably sounds so stupid, but I know a lot of you are the same exact as me. I love how cute and aesthetic, aesthetically pleasing these are for sure, and so that's also why I got them. They look modern and clean and simple, and he loves them. So they work great for us. Another must have, which I got a pack of these off of Amazon, so I'll have them linked below. They're really soft, they're braided material, they're stretchy, and so I can attach the pacifier down here, and then this clips onto his shirt. That way when we're in public and he decides that he just wants to throw or spit out his pacifier, it's not gonna go anywhere, it's attached to his clothes. These are a must have. I can't tell you how many times he has spit out his pacifier and it's gone onto the floor, and I'm like, why? why do I not have 20 million of these laying around? Because I always forget to put it on, but it's an essential. Like it is a must have if your kid has pacifier. I just got his diaper bag. I think I need to do a what's in my diaper bag video because that would be super handy. But anyway, this, this is an Arm & Hammer. I think they smell really good. It's a diaper bag. So if you're on the go and your kid has a stinky diaper, you put it in that bag and then put it in the trash can wherever you're at, or you can leave it in your car and your car is not gonna smell like a stinky diaper. So I think those are essential. I get them from Amazon. These, I actually need to pick up more. I think I got them from Amazon or Target. These are the Arm & Hammer natural cleaning with baking soda, pacifier cups, whatever they drop on the floor, this is safe to use right on the pacifier cleans it, disinfects it, and then you can put it right back into their mouth and it's totally safe. So these are a must have for sure. I'm going to save everything else that is in this diaper bag for a diaper bag video. I think I'm gonna do that. That sounds like a really good idea. So I need to clean it out and organize it anyway. So that's what we're gonna do for that. So our kitchen is small. I don't have a lot of room for a big bulky high chair. I also did not wanna fork out over $100 on a nice looking high chair. So what I decided to use is a booster type of 
of seat. It buckles and straps so underneath my chair and then around the back of my chair so it is safe and secure. It has a little tray that slides up on him. I like this. I think this is affordable. This is a way that you can tuck in the chair underneath the table and nobody knows it's there. No one knows you have a high chair unless they see the straps on the back but whatever. It saves room and it saves you from having to move one of your kitchen chairs out of the way just to fit a high chair there. For me it's a must have. Plus it's um, portable so if we go on vacation or if I take him to my mom's house for a whole day and I want her to have a place for him to sit and eat his food we can take it with us. It's super light and easy to travel with. If I make it through this video I'll be surprised. Next up, I have this. It's a cap the tap spout cover. So now that Lawson is like a wiggle worm and just like takes off like a rocket at any second, you gotta be prepared and on your feet and ready to go. So this goes over top of the spout in the bathtub. I only have it on when we are giving him a bath because I don't wanna have it on while we're taking a shower. Like when me and Austin are using the shower, unfortunately right now in our current house, we only have one bathroom. So he doesn't have his own bathroom set up, which I'm so sad about. I wish one day soon Lawson will have his very own bathroom and it will be the kid friendly bathroom that is like baby proofed and has everything ready to go. So right now we have to do a little bit more preparing for each bath, but it just sits right there in our shower. And then he also sits on the Playtex safety bath mat. I just feel like it's less slippery, it's safer, it's comfortable. This is easy, I just take it right back up. I have in shower cleaner, so I spray it down, wipe it down, rinse it off. So yes, bath time is a process, but what isn't when you have kids? This bouncer right here, my mom picked that out for him and he absolutely loves it. It has a lot of different things on it. Got it at Target. It was one of the most expensive, or the most expensive bouncer there. I think that's why she got it, because of how many activities it had on it. She just wanted to get the best of the best, especially because we are not getting rid of any of our baby stuff at all. We're keeping everything. Everything goes into storage because we're gonna have more than just him. So I don't wanna have to go out and buy this. I don't want my family members to have to go out and buy it again. So we're keeping what we have been given. So anyway, he loves this thing. It is a great bouncer, has so many activities. Lights up and plays, the turtle guy over here plays, so it's like a Nemo. Do you love it? Hey, do you love your bouncer a lot? Can you jump really silly for me? Do it, go! Do it, go! <laughs> okay. The next thing is this sound machine which stays right beside his crib. I like this because I can usually kick it with my foot. I don't have to bend down and put it on. I can just pop with my foot and it turns on. <laughs> Such a lazy thing. But anyway, it's got holes at the top if you want it quiet or loud. Quiet or loud. I want loud because I want to drown out as much noise that happens out there while he's sleeping as I can. Another must have in my opinion is a changing pad for the dresser. I just think it's... Lifesaver. I don't like to change his diapers on the floor. I like to do them up here, but that's just me. A lot of parents are different. This is the four moms bathtub. I was given this as a baby shower gift. We actually really did like it. At first, I didn't like it at all, but now I do. He's too big for it now because when he sits in it, he tries to sit up, and so I'm scared he's just going to tumble out of it or something. So now, put him in the regular bathtub and hold him up while he sits on the thing I showed you. But we liked this because it tells the temperature. The batteries are dead now, but at first, I was so worried that I was going to make the water way too hot so I needed something to tell me the temperature of the tub it's really easy to wipe down and clean as well so it just comes in and out of our shower super easy super light easy to store it's great also what I really like about it is that it's got these um, plugs right there so while I have new water I put this end where the faucet is so the water builds up right here and it drains right here so if I need to drain out the dirty water <laughs> I open this up and I open, well, I don't have to ever open that up, but I open up either side, new water comes in, I close it, so it's really easy. I don't have to take him out to dump out the dirty water. This guy is a lifesaver, and let me tell you, oh my gosh, I love this thing. He has a lot of letters and bath toys and everything, so when the bath is over, I don't want all these toys sitting here, especially because me and Austin have to shower in here too, so I just have to scoop up all of the toys and then I can run some water and cleaner through here just to clean up everything, rinse out all the soap. Has a hook, hook it back. Really, really cheap on Amazon, it's a must have. We're gonna take a trip out to my car so I can show you something out here. Okay, so for my car, I needed to have a sun visor that was gonna be, let me unlock it. And every sun visor I found was not big enough 
to cover the whole window. So I got these off of Amazon, I think for $13. They go over top of your door. They block out, it's like so dark back here. I have one on the other window too. I love these. The only problem is I wish they had one for the small window right there. That's what I can't cover up. Can't do anything about that, but also another must have is this, <laughs> in my opinion. So it gives him something to do while we're in the car. His feet can hit these. It's got different settings, either music, shapes, numbers. So I always change it up a little bit. And then also a mirror so I can see him while I'm driving. I can look in my rear view mirror and see his face right here and he can see me too. So it's really cute. I think that's a must have because I always like to see his face. <sighs> So that's gonna wrap up this video. I feel like I talked about a lot of things and I don't want it to be too overwhelming. So not everything in here is gonna be a must have for you. It's just people's opinions and what they think is gonna work best for you and your family. But this is what has made our life a lot easier. Things that we love to have and that we probably will be having for our next baby as well. I am going to be filming a part two to this, but it's gonna be all of the baby toys. So it's gonna be a lot of the educational toys, why we picked them. We spent a lot of time on which toys are best and why we have them. So if you wanna see that video, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and let me know that you wanna see more in this series of videos. I might include this in my Mommy Diaries videos. This fits really well in that. But let me know anything that you wanna see from me, any topic that you want me to cover, things you want me to show you or things that you just want to sit down and chat about for mommy diaries i would love to hear about what you guys need help with what you guys want to hear from me about as always thank you so much for watching this video please give it a thumbs up make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss out on any future uploads from me i love all of you guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video bye Mwah.